Welcome to the third video in a series where we explore delivery styles. In the previous videos, we discussed an overview of different styles and how to optimize learner retention when they are reading or listening to content. Let's talk about our third delivery style where learners practice. Practicing requires active learning, whereas reading and listening can be passive. Practice problems are one way for learners to get early feedback on whether they understand the content. It is also a helpful way for learners to review content after a presentation and to make new connections between concepts. Practicing can include discussion questions, problem-based learning, case studies, and practice questions. Heads up, if your learners aren't motivated to try active learning, it may help to explain the relevance of the activity in terms of outcomes and the increased retention of important concepts. Here is an example. At the end of a research lesson, I ask learners to log into Socrative. Then I start a quick question quiz. I ask them to submit their answer to a citation problem posted in my presentation slides. From their answers, I keep about four or five and get them to vote on which is the most correct answer. This is effectively a multiple choice question where students write their own distractors. They get feedback as well because we discuss the options and identify the best answer together after everyone has voted. In summary, we discussed how learners learn by reading, listening, and practicing. The best delivery options depend on your outcomes. Knowing the strengths and weaknesses of each style will help you pick the best one for you. There are more delivery methods and even more ways to combine them. Be adaptable to your audience's needs without losing sight of your outcomes. This concludes our Learning Styles video series. Thanks so much for watching.